What's up everyone, Andrew Bain here, and on today's video, I'm gonna be doing a demo and review of the brand new for 2024 Schecter Black Ops PT7 guitar. Before we move on, I wanna give a massive thank you to Schecter Guitars for sending this guitar over to me. However, they have not sponsored this video. Sweetwater did, so shout out to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. If you're somehow unfamiliar with Sweetwater, they have been a very long time supporter of my channel and they sell pretty much any piece of music gear you can possibly think of, including this guitar. So after you're done watching this video, if you wanna pick up this guitar for yourself or pretty much any other piece of music gear that you can think of, be sure to go use the link in the description and the pinned comment below. That's an affiliate link, so anything you buy on Sweetwater's site directly helps to support my channel as well, and I would really appreciate it. Now, in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how this guitar sounds in a full demo mix, show you some solo tone clips, give you the specs and features of this guitar, and then last but not least, give you my thoughts and opinions on this guitar. And yes, we will talk about the pickup placement thing as that was the most commented thing on my last video, don't worry. So without further ado, here is how the Black Ops 7 string sounds in a full demo mix. Okay, now that you've heard how the Black Ops 7 string sounds in a full demo mix, let's talk about the specs and features of this guitar. So first and foremost, as the name implies Black Ops, this guitar is completely blacked out. Just ignore that little chip there. I had an accident where I dropped my camera on it, oops. But yeah, this guitar has a beautiful satin black open pour finish where you can actually see some of the wood grain through the finish, which I think looks absolutely beautiful. A blacked out anodized metal pick guard all black hardware, of course. It looks absolutely metal. So this body is made out of mahogany. It has a hip shot bridge, a single volume knob, and a three-way toggle switch to switch between the three different voicings available on this pickup. With that being said, this pickup is a Fishman Fluence open core modern seven string pickup. There's only one in the bridge, 
one volume knob. I love this control layout. I always prefer having one pickup and one volume knob, so hell yeah. If we flip the guitar over, you can see that obviously this is a string through body. It has a battery compartment right there and another one of those metal black anodized uh, cavity covers on the back, which looked really nice and helps tie the aesthetic all together. Also, this guitar is a set neck build, not a bolt-on, which I know some people are very picky about, so there you go. Moving on to the neck, we have a three-piece mahogany neck with carbon fiber reinforcement, along with Schechter's own locking tuners up top right there. Since this is a multi-scale guitar, we are looking at a 25 and a half inch scale on the top string and 27 inches on the low string. So if you wanna tune it a little bit lower than normal, there you go. It's a little bit longer than your standard seven string, which usually comes in at 25 and a half or 26 and a half most commonly. So it's really nice if you want to tune it extra low. This guitar also has an ebony fretboard, glow in the dark side dots and stainless steel frets. At the time of filming this video, this guitar is coming in at $1,250 American, which in my opinion is a pretty fair price for what you're getting. You're getting a fairly niche instrument that only has one really high quality pickup high quality hip shop bridge, and it feels and looks pretty premium. So I think 1250 is a pretty good price in my opinion. So now that you know the specs and features of this guitar, I'm gonna show you a few solo to tone clips. I also wanna give a thank you to Auto Audio for partially sponsoring this video. All the rhythm guitar tones that you're about to hear were done using their 1111 plugin, which has a free trial and a discount code as you can see on the screen right now. So if you like how it sounds, go check out the plugin. But this is how the guitar sounds by itself. Okay, you've heard how the guitar sounds in a full demo mix. You know the specs and features and you've heard it by itself. So of course the last thing to talk about are my thoughts and opinions on this instrument. Now, a lot of people think for these gear demos, I'm going to be biased because the company sent the guitar over to me. So I'm inclined to say something nice or was paid to say something nice about it. And I always assure people that that's not the case and this video is kind of going to prove that. So let's get into it. First and foremost, the things that I love about this guitar, I think it looks super sick and I'm always very, very excited when a guitar company releases an extended range instrument, so a seven or eight string guitar that is not a super strat shape. There are infinite number of super strat seven and eight strings in the world and not nearly enough that are kind of like tele styled. So I thought that this guitar looked absolutely sick. As for the construction and the quality of the build, it's exactly what I would expect from Schecter at this price point. I've always been really impressed with them pretty much across the board for everything they've sent, and this is no exception. I think that the finish actually looks better in person than it does online, because I find that the pictures online tends to make it almost look like it's just like a flat matte black. But in person, I was pretty uh, happy to see that you can actually see the open wood grain, although it does, you know, leave a little bit of fingerprints, but what are you gonna do? But yeah, the actual quality and construction of everything to do with this guitar is really good. Love the stainless steel frets, locking tuners, 
hip shop bridge and a pickup that is also very premium and nice. So I like all the parts of this guitar. There's only one thing I don't like, and by this point in the video, I'm sure you can already guess what that is. And it's gonna be something that's very subjective. I've seen some people in the comments on my unboxing say they loved it, some say they hate it, so this is gonna be up to you. But the only thing that I personally don't love about this guitar is the pickup placement. So I'm gonna explain this in the most basic way possible, but pretty much on most fan fret or multi-scale instruments, you're usually gonna see the pickup be slanted to match the angle of the bridge, but for some reason on this guitar, Schechter has decided not to do that. I'm still not really sure why they did that because on every other multi-scale guitar they've done, the pickup has always been slanted, so this was clearly a decision they made. And even the pickguard has a cutout to accommodate for this pickup. So it was done for some reason that I cannot explain personally. And that is the only thing that I personally do not like about this guitar. So due to the location of the pickup being farther away from the bridge, especially on these low strings, basically what it results in is kind of this permanent mid coil split sound, which can be a cool sound, but it's usually used as a feature of a guitar, not the main tone of a guitar. So normally, if your bridge pickup is slanted or closer to the bridge, you would have it be, you know, sound like a normal humbucker. And then with a voicing option, you could switch it to B coil split, which would basically be, you know, the inner coil of a humbucker. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm sure it does to most of you at least. But anyways, let's go on. So the thing with having the pickup be this far up in the body is you don't really have the option to turn that coil split sound off or on because it's already so close to what your brain would associate with a middle pickup sounding like pretty much all the time. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. I know some people will really, really love this tone and it's the only tone that they would use anyways, so that's cool for them. But for me, I am personally much more used to hearing a bridge pickup have that more like full humbucker sound. Um, I like having this sound as an option, but it being pretty much the main tone is a little bit odd in my opinion. So that's really the only complaint I have about this guitar and something that maybe you wanna consider if you're thinking about buying this for yourself. Just be aware that it is going to sound different because of the location of this pickup. No matter what pickup you switch it to, if you don't like this pickup in particular, it's always gonna kinda of have that middle pickup-ish sound because it's so high up in the body and there's kind of nothing you can do to avoid that. Again, some people will love that, some people will hate it. I fall somewhere in the middle. It definitely sounds better than I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to sound way more split coil E, but it does still kind of have that tonality about it no matter what I did to it. But with that being said, when you play low tuned power chords, it still seems to sound just fine and sounds nice and full. So again, it sounds better than I thought it was going to, but I still kind of wish that this was a little bit farther back just so it sounded a little bit more like the type of tone that I normally go for. So that's pretty much all I have to say about this guitar like I said I love everything about it I just really wish that pickup was a little farther back and then it would be perfect for me but that's the thing about guitars they're subjective some people are gonna love it some people aren't gonna like it it is what it is and it's up to you to decide if this is a sound that you like or not so that's pretty much gonna do it for this video thank you so much for watching I do have the eight string version of this guitar as well what I was thinking of doing for that one is maybe bringing that one on tour with me so I do more of like a long-term demo interview of that one rather than doing a demo of that one and this one like back to back because they are basically the exact same guitar, just one has an extra string. So I was trying to think of ways to differentiate the two demo videos from each other to make it a little bit more interesting. So let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in. That's more of like a long-term on the road type review. I've never really done that before and my band Carcosa is going on tour for all of June. So I thought about maybe bringing that guitar as my B guitar and using it live and doing it that way. But I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let me know in the comments if you think that's a cool idea or not. I don't know. Again, a massive thank you to Schechter for sending this guitar over to me and for Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. Again, if you're interested in buying this guitar or any other piece of music gear you can possibly think of, go check out Sweetwater's website. It's linked in the description and the pinned comment below. And last but not least, a massive thank you to my Patreon members whose names are on the screen at this point in time. If you're interested in audio downloads, guitar tabs, stems, or a shadow on the screen, you can find all that over on my Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.